Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to do something that I have said for a while I was not going to do, and that is to show um, a clear video for something that I'm trying to uh, beat and get better at, and that is Clash of Wills. Um, and I, um, I'm doing this because I saw, or in the Facebook group that I'm that I'm part of, um, that, I, that I do all the Ask an Old Mog videos for, um, somebody was asking for a clear for Clash of Wills that does not involve using full work. Um, and I am also somebody who has been looking for such a clear video um, because I do not have Bulwark, um, but I have worked out a strategy using um, what I've heard is the next best uh, option for a similar role, and that is um, uh, Sage of Thunder Sakura. And my most recent run that I actually just did on stream over on Twitch um, got me from rank 1200 to rank 725. So I know that's not that impressive, um, but for somebody who does not have EX plus three everything, who does not have a million STMRs of Neo Visions units, um, who does, who's lacking a lot of the stuff that are sh being shown in some of the, like, the high score clears, um, yeah, I feel like you know that, that's not bad considering we have about a week and three days left of the event. So I am going to show what I did to get that score um, and see if I can't replicate it here. Um, now, I did make a couple of changes to my build um, from the what I did on stream, but here's what I did. I did um, the um, defense and spirit 30 and the party resistance minus 25. Um, and uh, that just gets us to give me 60% bonus score, but you know, whatever. I'm just going to do a complete replica of the, what I had before. Um, and I also need to make an adjustment here. I did not have enough... Um, resistance uh, for um, ice, water, and light for Elena. So I need to go ahead and give her some of that. Um, I'm going to take this off and give her her doll. Where is it? Because, nope, can't do that there. We're going to do Knight's Metal instead. Where, why is that not going? Of course, when I turn on uh, recording, right? Where is what, what am I looking for? Because I can't do that. Oh yes, I can. There. Make sure it's equipped on both of them. It is. We've got some resistance now. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna do that. And I know I've only got 60%, and I'm only doing three out of ten. And this clear also does not currently have the. Um, 50% HP lock in it, um, but it is a clear, and it's a clear that doesn't have bulwark. Um, so here's the team. Um, I can go in, in depth and look at, uh, well, let's, we'll do it now. Um, Sage of Thunder Sakura is my provoker. She's got 240, 250, and 270. Once I get Elena's buff going, she's going to have 100% more on top of that, so she's got plenty to survive um, all the attacks. She's got 100% um, provoke. She's got resistance to, or she's going to have resistance to um, ailments once I get the buffs going. Um, she's got resistance here, you know, same resistances on both forms. Um, and she's going to be doing um, imperils, LB damage buff, um, the Ramu field, and she's going to be doing a plant killer buff. Um, we got Louise using a fire and a lightning weapon um, to help seal elements. She's got resistances. Um, and then in shift form, she's just doing damage. You know, we're trying to get, you know, aquatic and plant killers. I don't have all the best stuff, so there it is. You know, not that much. Kresnik is going to be chaining on the final turn with the. Uh, Thundaga, but otherwise he's just kind of staying alive with resistances. Lara is going to be singing for us in the base form. She's going to be using Merc um, with a water and a lightning weapon just to help seal elements. And then in shift form, she's going to be, you know, killing the boss. Um, it worked on the, the last run that I did, so that's cool. Um, we're going to be using Elena to help chain. She's going to be pushing morale in the shift form and then doing damage and imperils in the base form. This guy is going to be doing a lot of the same stuff, but mainly stacking her LB. And yeah, I mean, it's not terribly exciting. 
Um, you, 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 anybody doing this is probably gonna have a better score and a better gear setup. Um, so it's not terribly important, but the important thing is uh, I'm doing this without bulwark because I'm doing this with uh, Blossom Sakura and or um, Sage of Thunder Sakura instead. So here is what we're doing. We'll give it a shot and see if I can replicate that um, and maybe get a better variance roll or something. Um, my last roll, Sky did really, really bad. Um, so I've got a turn chart. I'm going to be referring to it. Um, I kind of pulled this. I, I pulled from um, one of Sinzar's charts and I kind of modified it for my team. Um, to help with mitigation and stuff, we're going to start with triple resistances and mitigations better than nothing right um, and we're going to also do um, luminous speed we're going to do a barrier and refragmentation on this turn um, which is gonna make it so our morale does not push as much um, but I feel like I need it to survive the first turn um, Crescent's gonna stimulant all right and we're gonna start sealing some elements with Mitigation and Ionic Blaster with Merc. Oh man, my game is like lagging out. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and do Sharp Spear, Brisk, and Battering. All right, there we go. Not as much morale as I had in my online or my streamed clear, um, but I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. I want to make sure that uh, she survives this first turn. Yeah, she did fine. Cool. So, second turn, we're going to... We're going to do double morale and blessing. Right? There we go. Lara is going to sing. Sky is going to shift at LB. Sakura is going to do Thunderstone. And that's just going to give everybody lightning damage. Um, we're going to do Ionic, 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 Ionic. Health refill. And then we're going to Stimulant with Crescent. Cool. We're under 50% after one, two turns, so that's pretty good. 50% morale there. And we're surviving, which is good as well. Okay. Um, all right. We are back at turn three. I had to reset um, because I accidentally uh, clicked on Elena with, with, with my game resizing several times there. My, my, my buttons got all messed up. So uh, we're going to try that again. Um, we're on turn three. And turn three, we're going to um, start with Louise. We need to get another stack of Sky's Limit Burst. So we're going to do... Um, on the first cast of Ionic, it's going to fill her Limit Burst. We can do it. There we go. Limit Burst. Okay. Cool. Um, Elena is going to, on turn three, she's going to do Shield and double Morale just to burn them up. There we go. And Kresnik is going to Stimulant again. Pushing the morale gauge. She in, and Sakura is going to status immunity and protect and shell just to give us as much as we can. Alright, so we're at maximum morale. Um, it's not going to be a perfect score on morale um, because you have to like work really, really hard for it, but I'm going to do my best here. The important thing is we are not dying. Okay. Um, on this turn, Crescent shifts down. <laughs> all that auto casting. Okay, uh, Crescent is going to, or well, first of all, we're going to shift um, 
Sakura. And I'm going to use the good buffs from her kit here. Um, we're going to use True Thunderstone. This is going to re-imbue the party with lightning. Um, Sage Rage to do um, buffs for Plant Killer. And then Sage Support just because it's something to do. Um, and it's going to help refill the evocation gauge as well. So we'll do that. Now we're re-imbued for the kill turn. Um, Louise is going to use mitigation again and ionic just to fill limit burst gauges. All right, Elena is going to do shield again and legendary morale. Uh, I can't do it three times, so. All right, Sky is going to shift down and use Tailwind and Battering Winds. Just to keep the stacks and you know, make sure everything's filled up the way we need. And Kresnik is going to do some actions that are just going to be pushing the morale gauge even more, um, even though we don't really need them, right? Every little bit of morale and healing and barriers and everything, it, it all helps. All right, turn five is where we're going to deviate a little bit. Um, Elena is going to shift down to the base form, and she's going to apply a lightning imperil. Um, Sakura is going to give an imperil field for lightning as well um, to get a really big imperil to lightning um, with the Esper. So Esper field. Elena is going to downshift. We're going to do speed of light and do electrifying innervation, aurora, and guidance just for, like... Everything we can. It's gonna give us another um, barrier on Sakura. And there we go. We got lightning resistance down. Um, Louise is going to um, turn five. Mitigate, uh, ion a killer, and double ionic. Sky is going to use her Magnus and Brisk and Battering. And then Kresnik is going to reload and do his little three skills again for morale fill. Alright, turn six. Um, I'm going to get another stack of LB with Sky. And prepare for the kill turn. a little bit of damage with Sakura, but we don't care. It's okay. And we're going to do her Limit Burst. We're going to raise Elena back up. Notice this time Elena did not take any damage, um, so we did a good job there. She's going to use Refragmentation and Protection. Do I not have Super anymore? Uh, I do not have Super anymore. She's going to do Refragment and Protection. It's going to reapply the resistance buffs that we need. Um, this is going to amplify lightning, which we need. Uh, Louise is going to um, Ionic, 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 and Magnus incapacitate. She's going to do that after Sky Flurry so she can fill um, the Limit Burst Gauge back up. Okay. And here's that getting filled back up. And then this time, Kresnik is not going to use his abilities. He's going to just top off Sky with his normal attack. Um, so there's that. Everybody's full. And now we're on turn 7. So on turn 7, the mitigations go away. And we can do some damage. <laughs> so many attacks that do nothing. Fantastic. Okay. There we go. Everybody's full. We're going to start by using our um, our morale buffs just to make sure we're ready to go. And we're going to triple Thundaga, right? We're going to shift up Louise. And we're going to quad... Disarming, 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 neutralizing, right? We're going to quad 
Thundaga. Lara's gonna shift. She's back in the fight. She's gonna use Volatile. Elena's gonna shift down. And she's going to use the correct triple pass skill, right? Where is it? Piercing, Blade, and Piercing. Oh, actually, let me see here. Which does more damage? This is 1500. This is 10,000. How much are you? Alright, so we're gonna do Crystal Refraction instead because it's more damage. Should be a better score, too, right? Alright, and then Sky is going to cap. So the way this is gonna work, I'm going to send my Mage Chainers first, and then I'm gonna chain with these two and cap with Sky. And then um, on my last run, uh, I killed it all the way to zero, um, a little over, and ended up with a higher score. So let's see if we can do the same thing. There we go. So it's like, obviously it's like right on the cusp. <laughs> it's just waiting on Sky to do that last hit. Um, so I did a billion, 93. 1 billion, 93 million. Um, and let's see if this improved my score. Okay, I did more morale that time. I don't want any of that for right now. Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit better, right? I think, I can't remember where I started, but 729. So the, the point is it can be done, it can be cleared that way. Um, I'm gonna try and, and do a little more to try and um, add some more modifiers and see if I can't get any higher out of that that setup. So there it is, uh, clear without using Bulwark, using um, Sage of Thunder Sakura instead. Um, hopefully that is helpful for somebody. Um, and if you've got any, if you take a look at this and you've got any ideas for something that can be changed or done uh, to make this better, um, you know, using. You know, am, I, am I using the right skills or the wrong skills or whatever? Please tell me. Um, I am open to feedback and suggestions. And yeah, I'll see you guys on um, Thursday when I stream. I'm going to be streaming, um, just kind of hanging out on stream um, on Thursday doing Item World and maybe doing some Clash Clears as well. Um, if I can think of any ways to improve this, um, uh, that will be about 9 p.m. Central. Um, and yeah, come visit. Come say hello. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.